wind turbines towering above the Cape Cod community of Falmouth, Massachusetts, were intended to produce green energy and savings. But they've created angst and division in the community and may now be removed at a high cost as neighbors complain of noise and illness. It gets to be jet engine loud. Neil Anderson and his wife Betsy live just a quarter mile from one of the turbines. They say the impact on their health is devastating. Headaches, dizziness, sleep deprivation. Every time the blade is in a downward motion, it gives off a tremendous force of energy. That comes out as a pulse. You know, it's... The first turbine went up in 2010, and by the time both were in place on the industrial side of the town's water treatment facility, the price was $10 million. Town officials say taking them down will cost an estimated 5 to $15 million, in addition to the lost energy savings. But that is just what Falmouth's local officials have decided to move toward doing. The selectmen unanimously voted to remove them. We think it's the right thing to do, absolutely. Now the matter will go to a town meeting vote in April and could ultimately end up on the ballot in May, where voters would decide whether or not to raise taxes to cover removal costs. In the meantime, the turbines are being run on curtailment, only operating during the day as the selectmen respond to the concerns of neighbors, which means they're operating at a loss. It's been a bitter three-year battle in the seaside town where officials argue the project was thoroughly vetted, researched, and put to a public vote multiple times. I think that if we end up taking these turbines down, it will be a shame. It, it will be an embarrassment for the town of Falmouth. And local leaders say the state bears some monetary responsibility for the situation because Falmouth was granted renewable energy credits and received advice. They certainly have been uh, involved and have a tremendous stake uh, in this process, but for the work of the Mass Clean Energy Center uh, in continuing to uh, press Falmouth to take advantage of its wind resource, um, provided the technical assistance um, to conduct all of the feasibility studies. If Falmouth voters vote to remove the turbines, it would be a first, and one other municipalities may watch closely. Nowhere in the nation have turbines of commercial size been removed so quickly after installation due to noise and health concerns. In Falmouth, Massachusetts, Molly Line, Fox News.